Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to Midweek Encouragement. If I say good afternoon, you might be watching this in the morning or it might be in the evening, but it's afternoon now. And it's really encouraging to have uh, Ben Burge with us. Some of you will know Ben, will have met him around. Ben is the pastor at the Butts Church here in Alton. And we thought it'd be really good to just find out a little bit about him today and to see how he could encourage us as members of the Parish of the Resurrection and anybody who's watching this. So welcome, Ben. Really good to see you. Thank you. And, uh, uh, it's been good getting to know you over the last few years. Now, Ben, I have been to different places with you. I went to Turkey with you. And I know you quite like Turkish tea, but let's get let, we're in England now. So let me just ask you the question. How do you like your cup of tea when you drink it at home? Uh, so milk, no sugar. And apart from that, however it comes. Uh, um, I know some people are very definite milking first or not milking first or, or want a particular colour. However it comes is fine by me. Oh, you're very easy to please, Ben. That's great. Do you have uh, like, a favourite uh, right. mug or anything like that? Um, whichever one is clean in the cupboard uh, will do me. <laughs> You're, we're getting the flavour of Ben, aren't we? Just from how he's answered that question. That's really good because we've had people who have said, no, it's got to be in a cup shaped like, like this or it's got to be made from that or, you know, I like it with these particular tea leaves. But Ben, just as it comes, any cup, great. I remember at my engagement party, there was somebody I didn't know too well at the time. In fact, it was my mother-in-law. And uh, <laughs> she came up to me and she said, I'm a pre-lactarian. And I said, you, you're what now? Sorry. And I had to have it explained what that meant because I had no idea. <laughs> you will have to explain that to all of us now. What is a pre-lactarian? Yeah. The milk in first. Oh, milk what? In oh, I see. Okay. I get it. Pre oh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, Great. Yeah. Gordon, save us yeah. from this conversation. Yeah. Uh, let's move on quick. <laughs> <laughs> but give us a little bit of a flavour then for, you know, how long, when you came to Alton, maybe a little bit of a flavour for just what you got up to before you came here. Any thoughts, mate? Yeah. So um, before I came to Alton, I, I was living in Somerset uh, in a little village called Will Abington. Um, and I, uh, the same village, in fact, as Andrew's parents-in-law lived. Um, oh, gosh. One of those strange coincidences. That and, and, the village, and the village we got married in. Gosh. Ooh. There you go. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I've been there. I've been, teach I've been a secondary school uh, music teacher for about 12 years. And then... Um, I guess what kind of started things off is uh, our local minister asked us round for tea and he said, there's no agenda, but um, <laughs> but I just want you to think about where you'd like to be in five years time. <laughs> and so I thought about it and I realised that actually what I wanted to do probably was to be working for the church in some, uh, some form or another within the next five years. And then um, I can't remember exactly what it was, but I, I had a a difficult week at work that week. And I really felt God was saying to me, look, if you know you want to do this in five years time, why are you messing about saying, wait five years, get up and do something about it now. Um, so that's what I did. And so I started looking for uh, jobs in ministry and that led me uh, to eventually to the Butts Church in Alton. So I came about five, six years ago as a oh. pastoral assistant and then assistant pastor and now pastor. Brilliant. Wow. So Gosh. five. So it didn't take five years. How many years did that take altogether? Uh, no, about five, six years. About five yeah. or six years. Great. It has Great. Been quite quick. That is that, amazing. That is amazing story. So from Will Abington in Somerset to Alton in Hampshire. Mm -hmm. Great. That's really, yes. you know. That. So I just so you talked about you know, going to see your local minister in that. So you, you obviously had come to faith at some point. Tell us a little bit about that journey of faith, how you come to be someone who's going to put themselves forward to work for the church. Yeah, so um, I, I guess my church uh, journey, if you like, started uh, at quite a young age. We, we, we were living in Dorset and we'd been invited along to the local Methodist church it was. And so I started attending there from a fairly young age and really just um, always kind of accepted uh, that everything I was hearing was true um, and so uh, got baptised I think it was 1989 um, and then really just grew in my faith over that time so I, I often think about there are different stages in my faith journey if you like um, so a, a big step for me was when I went to university and I 
uh, I went from uh, our kind of quite close-knit Methodist church, I ended up in a, in a free church there. Uh, and so um, I grew a lot there. I, I was playing in the worship band and occasionally would lead various things in Christian Union. And then we moved uh, to Somerset uh, and we joined the church there and I gradually got involved in more and more things. And um, I had uh, actually somebody who was really useful. I've had, I often talk about people who have been very useful to me and have helped me develop in my faith. So when I was at uni, one of my housemates, uh, he was doing a music degree because he wanted to serve his worship band at church better. Wow. That was the reason he was taking a degree. Wow. And uh, so he was a great person. And I, I, I moved in with him and we spent time. And so I grew a lot learning from him. Uh, and then uh, the church in Somerset, the, the curate um, was very helpful discipling me. And he encouraged me to do uh, to, to get involved and help uh, lead a home group with him. And it was him that persuaded me to uh, to start looking at the idea of maybe preaching. Uh, so we struck a deal that I would write a sermon. And if it was awful, uh, he would preach it, not me. Um, <laughs> so that, was, um, that was how I started preaching. And just my faith has just grown kind of continually over that time. And I just continue. And then uh, once I came here, uh, the church very kindly uh, allowed me to do some training. So I got some more formal training. And that, again, was another kind of phase. Keep developing my faith, knowing the scriptures better, knowing how to handle them better. Yeah. You talked in there, Ben. That's really good uh, to hear all of that. You talked in there about we. Who is we? Because we can only see you. No. Uh, so my <laughs> wife, Anne, is out walking our dog, Daisy, at the moment. Yeah. So the three of us normally. Yeah, yeah. So uh, Anne is, is a lovely, lovely, lovely lady. So I hope you will get to meet her at some point as well. And Daisy's not bad either, is she? <laughs> if she stops jumping long enough for you to yeah. see her, she's pretty nice. Oh. Great. Now, um, Gordon, I think you've got a question. Yeah. Yeah, Ben, it, it's brilliant to hear all that and just to get a bit of background on you and to hear some of your faith journey. And, uh, you know, you talked about um, music and all of that. And uh, I just wondered, because I can see behind you, there's about 35 guitars, it looks like. <laughs> just just give us a little bit of a flavour. I'm assuming that hobbies and interests are going to in include music, I guess. So just give us a little bit of background on that, mate, if that's OK. Yeah, certainly. So um, I'm actually, although I talk about Dorset and Somerset, um, I am actually a Hampshire boy originally. Ah, um, so hey. I'm, not, I'm not sure I can admit this, but I was born uh, and brought up in Aldershot for the first five oh, years. Gosh. I know it's a shocking thing to admit now, uh, <laughs> but I was there. And uh, there used to be a group that came uh, that my parents listened to a lot called the Yetis, which was a folk group. And uh, I always I grew up listening to them. I think I was going to their concerts as a baby. And uh, eventually they got a, a violin player called Roger Trim. And I absolutely loved the sound of the violin and I wanted to learn it. And so uh, I had a chance when we moved to Dorset. And so I started learning. And then actually, uh, eventually I got to be taught by Roger Trim, the person that had inspired oh, me to want to learn Gosh. to play. <laughs> Uh, and so uh, that's how kind of things started. And then various other instruments kind of crept in uh, as well. Um, and I managed to do some uh, some interesting things. So I think I was commissioned to write my first piece for radio when I was 12. Um, and then I've got to do various things like uh, I played um, folk clubs up in Scotland for uh, wow. projects, but I got to play in some big, uh, big pubs in Ed Edinburgh um, on nights where with long established bands and all sorts of bits and pieces. Wow. So it's been interesting. Yeah. But we do I, want to know how many guitars you actually have. Yeah. Um, so I think it's about nine guitars Gosh, uh, wow. of varying types. And then there's, uh, I think there's a banjo over there as well. And Brilliant. some mandolins and bits. Yeah. Uh, right. Great. Uh, I, I have to say, you play a little bit more, I think. I have, I have heard you play as well, Ben, and I thought you were brilliant. It was, uh, it was actually singing Christmas carols, I think, a couple of years ago outside Witties, and I thought, gosh, this guy can play. <laughs> so uh... Yeah, well, so if people are around next Tuesday, either at the Butts Green or at Trelaw Heights, I'll be helping play for our pop-up carols there. Uh, good, good. We'll come along and listen. Gordon, 
yeah, it's been great to to have a chat with you and to find out a little bit more about you, Ben. And thank you for your words and the way I think you, and this is offered to other people, I think it will encourage people, particularly here in your faith journey. So um, the usual way we close, very appropriately, I hope, is that we pray. We pray for you. So uh, shall we just close in prayer? Heavenly Father, Lord, we lift Ben before you and we thank you for him. We thank you uh, for what he shared with us today and particularly his faith journey. And we lift before you as well, Lord, those people who've influenced him through his life. Uh, we think of that chap who he met at university and uh, that curate who came alongside him. We think of um, that chap, Roger, who helped him with his guitar playing uh, and of the influence that others have on us who are sent by you. Uh, and so we thank you for Ben. We thank you for the work uh, that he does with the Baptist Church, the way that he pastors uh, those folk there. And we ask, Lord, uh, for him and for Helen, uh, for him and Anne to have a, just a wonderful, wonderful Christmas uh, and to continue growing in Jesus and helping others to know you too. It's in the name of Jesus that we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen.